Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Billy Napier keeping the boys busy with some Friday night action as Teddy Foster commits to the Florida Gators. Now, we've talked about the Gators keeping that top three class together. And at this point, like it doesn't seem like the Gators are going to be falling outside the top five in the 2024 class recruiting rankings. And Teddy Foster, if you guys have been listening to me for a little bit, you know the two things I like in cornerbacks. Ball skills and length. And Teddy Foster, having played both sides of the football as a wide receiver too, has the ball skills. And you see 6'2", 170, and you'll see on the film as well, he has the length as well. That has been kind of the king of cornerback traits the last couple of years, not only at the college level, but the NFL level. Like Programs want cornerbacks who have that length, and Teddy Foster certainly has that. Now, before we get into Teddy Foster, just want to say, Thank you to the Gator fans. You guys have shown a ton of love and trying to break down all the commitments in this 2024 class and the support you guys checking the boys out really does mean a lot. So if you do enjoy the updates, consider subscribing to the channel. going to talk Teddy Foster and then talk about how this 2024 class is coming along in terms of depth. Now, let's get into Teddy Foster first and getting into the film. Like it jumps right out, right? The length. This is a dude that he has that length, right? Playing that boundary cornerback spot. But what I also love is you see the wide receiver in him, right? When that football's in the air, you see a lot of cornerbacks kind of panic. Not Teddy Foster. Really comfortable going, addressing the ball, and making a play. Again, maybe a little bit of a raw guy, and there's no – one thing, and we'll pause it after this play. You see the ball skills. Go track it. Go. I mean, the guy's shoulder gets in the way, but has the ball skills, comes down with it. Now, watching him return this, the one thing I want to talk about – we'll actually let the play go out, and then we'll talk about it. The one thing I want to talk about – is 24-7 seems to put a lot of stock in verified track times. Teddy Foster doesn't have that from what I found. I couldn't find any verified track times. So that might be something kind of like pushing them down boards. Like you see, they if you have a verified 10 second in the 10 sub 1100 meter time, like you're, you're going up boards according to 24-7 sports. Teddy Foster, not verified track time. But when you watch the film, like he doesn't seem like he has a speed issue, but he does have that length and he has the ball skills which I certainly like. And then the last question is, do you have the long speed? That doesn't seem to be an issue. Now keep him watching it again. Just a guy that really comfortable, like playing the football. You see like the ball skills, boom, tip ball. He makes a play on it. He can get after the catch. You're going to see some wide receiver highlights too, where again, you just see him really comfortable when that football is in the air. He's really good at playing. And that's kind of why I love my cornerbacks being, not my cornerbacks, but cornerbacks in general, playing wide receiver, right? Because they know when that football's in the air, they're going to be able to go play. You see some wide receiver action too. Again, brings a lot to the table, not necessarily any crazy ball skills there, but he's a good athlete. Now I want to talk about why Teddy Foster might be a a bigger commitment than what it seems on paper, right? You see the, the, the Twitter haters say, oh, three star, like not a big deal. When you take a look at this Florida Gators 20, 2024 class, and as a Michigan fan, we're in the same boat. This is the first cornerback committed in this 2024 class. Now you had Jakeem Jackson in that 2023 class. So you're feeling pretty good about the future of the position, but it's important to grab a cornerback in this 2024 class. And with guys like Jalen Crawford and Wardell Mack, who are high priorities on the Gators, you can't win them all. They seem to be going other places, grabbing a guy like Teddy Foster, who has that length and maybe is a little bit of a project, but has the tools to be a good cornerback seems to be a nice pivot play by Billy Napier. And again, I, I, you look at this class, and it has the quarterback, and we talked about this, and, and most importantly, the front seven with the linebackers, Miles Graham, Darius Hayes, Aaron Childs, and then all those dogs on the defensive line. You're feeling really good about the front seven. I think you're feeling really good about the secondary with the guy in Xavier Phil Same, who's one of my favorite recruits in this class, like a freak athlete, a guy that I think can go day one in the NFL draft. And then you grab a, a, a maybe of a project cornerback in Teddy Foster, you're feeling pretty good about where this secondary is coming along. And I want to take us to who else is next for the Florida Gators. Now, this is a relatively big class, or it's co- becoming a big class, right? 20-plus commits in the boat. Here, here's a storyline that we haven't talked about yet. Xavier Mincy, a top 100 safety trending to the Florida Gators, plays at mainland in Daytona Beach. If they can land that commitment, and then we talked about the big target and solidifying this front seven and LJ McCray. These guys play their football together. So you can get Xavier Mincy in the boat and LJ McCray seems to be a little bit of a toss up, right? But
between Florida State. I know Miami's making a run. I know some SEC schools are making a run. If the Gators can land Xavier Mincy and then maybe go out and help them get his teammate, LJ McCray, you're looking at just an elite class in 2024. And we're talking about staying in the top five. You're staying in the top three if you can land a guy like LJ McCray and Xavier Mincy. And it rounds out what is a really complete class in 2024. And the last thing I'll close on is that I love – what Billy Napier is doing when you see how, what he's selling to these players, like when they have their little quotes on why they commit, they always are saying Florida, the, the swamp is on the rise. I think that's what Teddy Foster said. Billy Napier is selling this class on being the change in this program, right? It was obviously a down year and it might be a down year in 2023 too, in terms of expe- regular expectations for the Florida Gators, which should be winning SEC titles, competing for national titles. I think most Florida fans are saying, okay, this might be a, not a national title contending year. Billy Napier is selling like, be, this class, be that change. And that's, as a Michigan fan, and I, this is two times I'm bringing up Michigan football, that's kind of what Jim Harbaugh sold the recruits on a couple of years ago. Is we were getting, we were getting our tail whipped by Ohio State. We were kind of stagnating, not winning Big Ten titles. And what he was selling these recruits is come in, and kind of be that change. And even the 2024 class, he's saying like, continue this, like continue the legacy Michigan's making. I love it because these guys are taking ownership of turning around this Florida Gators program. And I think that's going to help in a couple of years when it's, Hey, I'm not maybe getting as many reps as I should. Should I hit the transfer portal? If they're taking ownership about, I'm not just coming to Florida to be developed and, and get to the NFL. That's a reason, but it seems like these guys are coming to Florida because they want to be a ch- be the change in where this program is going under Billy Napier. And it's, I mean, whatever he's selling, it's working. Because this is a 2024 class that has the chance to be very, very special. And Teddy Foster just adds a nice depth piece to the secondary, who I think is a high-end, guy, like high-upside kind of guy, right? 6'2", has really good length. He has the ball skills. That's kind of what you want in a cornerback. You get him in the program. Get him coached up. The Florida Gators. Like continuing to get it done on the trail. Very exciting class to talk about. Again, appreciate you guys for rocking with the boys. Got Billy Napier, he's been keeping us busy. I love talking Florida Gators football. You guys have shown a ton of support. So appreciate you guys checking this out. If you do enjoy it, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back more with some more Florida Gators recruiting. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.